In this video, I'm going to balance this single replacement reaction. Um, that's one element and a compound yielding another single element and a compound. And in every balanced chemical equation, the law of conservation of mass says that each side of the equation has to have the same number of atoms of each of the elements. So in order to balance this equation, I am going to use coefficients. Coefficients are large numbers that get placed out in the front of either elements or compounds in order to balance the number of atoms. Uh, this arrow right here, which is the yields arrow, um, separates the two sides of the react reaction. These are the reactants, and this side's called the products. And whatever you have on this side has to equal that side. In this method that I'm going to show you, I'm going to do the count them up method. And that will balance your equation. I have to count up how many elements I have on both sides. So I list them. I have ALs. I have PBs. I have Ns. <clears throat> and I have Os. And on this side, I better have the same things. I double check. Do you have ALs? Yes. Do you have PBs? Yes. Do you have N's? Yes. And do you have O's? Yes. Um, if I was writing the equation myself, that would be a check of whether or not I wrote the equation correctly if I, didn't, if I had something missing. So I count up what I have. I have one AL. I have one PB. Uh, this little number here is distributing. So that means I have two N's and I have six O's. Okay, so I have two N's and six O's. On this side, I have one AL. This once again distributes. So that three on the outside means I have three N's and I have nine O's. And I have one PB. All right, so I'm gonna go through and I obviously have an issue with both my nitrogen and my oxygen. And what I notice is that I have a two on this side and a three on that side. And there isn't any number that I can multiply by two with the coefficient in order to get three. So I'm gonna to have to do least common multiple. That means I have to find the number that when multiplied by two, both of these numbers will equal that. And that least common multiple number is six. So what number times two is six? The answer to that, of course, is three. And that's the number that I place right here. And I will go back and calculate my atoms up again in just a second. But what number over here did I need to use? The answer was two. So I find where the nitrogen is, and I put a two. And now I'm going to recalculate the atoms that I have. I have one AL on this side. And now I have two ALs on this side. So I go back and I fix this side easily by placing a two in front of the AL. I have three PBs on this side. When I, when I altered my N's and O's, I altered the PB that's connected there. And so over here, I need to have three PBs. Then let's look to see what we have here. I've already distributed out my two, so I had two and six, so I multiply this big number here by each of those. So I have two times three is six, but I have three times six on my oxygen, so now I have 18. And over here, I have two times nine, on that, I already did my six, two times three was my six. Two times nine is 18. So I have two aluminums, three leads, six nitrogens, and 18 oxygens. So my coefficient list on this problem would be two, three, two, three. And that would make a balanced chemical reaction.